What's going on guys? You're about to see a video that I just made on my A6400. Sorry the audio is bad, but I'm gonna show you the fastest, newest way to get files from your uh, Sony, Sony cameras onto your iOS devices for iPads and iPhones. I don't wanna waste your time, but this is 10 times faster than everything else on YouTube. It's super annoying. I think this is new in the newest updates. Uh, maybe it's been able to do this for a while, but this is gonna show you two particular tips. So it's way faster. Sorry about the audio. All right, what's going on everybody? Uh, I'm gonna show you in this video how to get your Sony video files, the 4K XAVC suite, you know, video files that are on your Sony a7 III, your Sony a7R4, your Sony a7 III, a7S II, a7S III, any Sony DSLR, a6400, the crop sensors, any of those onto your iOS device, but this is new, I'm telling you, this is fast and easy, I just wanna be helpful. So let's not waste your time. There's about three different ways to do it. First of all, you can use the, the Play app, right? So you can get the Sony Play app on here, connect it wirelessly to your, your camera, and you can transfer both videos and photos. And I love watching videos that are like, and there you go, you can transfer everything. Here's the deal, those videos take forever. You can't wirelessly transfer a 4K video to your phone using that stupid wireless connection. I don't know why that's so complicated. Don't try and do videos that way. The second way that you'll see is where you take a USB, you plug it into your camera, and then you take this um, Thunderbolt to female USB adapter, it's, it's the camera adapter. You can do that, you gotta go in and turn USB power off on your camera, so your camera's not trying to run, otherwise you get this little error that says, it takes too much power, doesn't work. Super frustrating, if you turn in the camera, go to USB and turn USB power off, and then turn it to um, USB mass storage, and then you plug it in, what you'll see is an interesting little thing, and here's my main tips, okay? When you're getting your thing set up, let me just start recording here. Um, so when you're doing that, you'll, you'll have it pop up, and you'll go into, I'll just use this, you'll go into photos, and a little import window pops up on your screen, right? Well, that import window is fine, except for it doesn't show the video files. <laughs> You're stuck, right? But here's what you gotta do, okay? You can use the USB, or better yet, I have found out how to use the SD card reader, the Apple SD card reader. So you spend a whole bunch of money on stupid adapters, but um, what you do is instead of going to your photos, go into the new file manager and go to files, okay? And here's what I'm gonna show you how to do. I'm gonna show you how to do this with the SD card, but it's also applicable for the USB. If you use the USB, here's what I found. You may try this with the USB connected to the camera, and when you open it up, it'll show the folder. Like here, all of a sudden, I just had a new one that says untitled here. Untitled is this card. That same thing will pop up on your camera. You may go through the same process if you're using the camera and the USB, and you won't be able to see the actual files. Well, what I found is that the camera doesn't send or connect very well when it has two memory cards in there. So if you have the problem where you're like, I just took a video, I can't find it, I see everything else, but it's not there, try taking the card you know that the file is on and putting it in slot one or the top slot, whatever that slot is. When you have two cards in there, it doesn't seem like it can read between the two, but here, um, so you open up the Files app, right? So get your Files app open. Once the File app's open, you go to Browse. When you plug in the card like this, you will see a little Untitled button, and then mine is in this cockamamie private, you know, M4 root. Then you go just like you would do when you're pulling it off onto your computer. So you gotta use the Files app, that's the secret, but here's another little secret. So I found out once you find the video, you gotta select it, and then you go to the share button here, this arrow down in the lower left hand corner. There's two steps. One, if you just save the file, it doesn't like save it. So the first thing is you hit the share and hopefully this gets better, but then you go save to file. So there's a save video there. For some reason when I do that, it doesn't work. You'll probably do this and it'll work, but it doesn't work the first time. So go to save to files and then I pick a folder. I've been using my iMovie folder and I save it to that. Now what I've found is it takes about half a second per 100 or 200 meg file came across in 10 seconds, right? So depending on how big that file is, so right there, so now I had both. So I'm just gonna stop. Once you get that though, here's the second step. If you go into, I've found sometimes it pops up in photos, sometimes it doesn't. 
If it doesn't, which is most of the case, what you want to do is navigate now. So you've transferred it into the folder of the iMovies. Now navigate into, go back into your device and go to on my iPhone. So now we're going to look, it, it's in the phone, but it's not in your, in your photos folder yet. So go to on my iPhone. Once you get that, you go to the folder that you're at, you select the video you just transferred, hit the share button again and go save video, save video. And what that'll do is put that video into, so now I have duplicates on this, it'll put it there. If this was helpful, like and share the video, but this is how you get your Sony files going. Good luck everybody.